All right, guys, we're back in the shop and we have two days to get as much done in this Toyota as we can because come Friday, no matter what it looks like, it is getting loaded up and we are heading to dropped and destroyed with it. So the plan is I got to get uh, the underside of the hood, fenders, air tank, grill, core support, balance. Got to get all that painted and uh, bed lined to match the rest of it. Get that hung on there. Uh, inside, I would just want to get the uh, shifters and shift knobs finished. And on the back, I got a little bit of a surprise. I think a lot of people won't be expecting it at the show. But in order to do that, we got to head over to my storage building and uh, rip some junk parts off of a junk Toyota and uh, get back over here and get to work. But we'll head over there and I'll show you what I got. Hi guys, so this is my uh, storage barn where I keep a lot of parts cars, future projects. Try not to uh, give too much away because people will be trying to buy this stuff and it's not for sale. But a couple rows of mini trucks, got a Datsun 620, got another 521, a couple Mazdas, a Rambler, truckloads of Toyota parts, Volkswagen parts, a couple Hiluxes. A Volkswagen D50 hiding back there. More Toyota parts. But uh, here's what we're after. A lot of you may have never even seen these. Uh, just a set of Siamese dually wheels and they bolt on just like any other wheel. They got these extra studs and one of these wheels here. Look, bolt right up to it and just like that you got a dually so i think i have a couple extra uh, toyota wheels on the side so i uh, will dig some of those out and uh get this thing jacked up and get these wheels ripped off so it might be a bit of a uh, mini truck parts hoarder let you decide but i know back here somewhere i got some extra uh Toyota wheels. I think those are them right back there. So grab a couple of those and uh, get that truck jacked up and get those dually wheels pulled off. Okay, so there's the junk we came after. So I'll get that junk loaded up into the junk Subaru. Uh, maybe someday if you guys want, I will uh, give you a full tour of all the junk over here. There's a couple of uh, good things, but solid 98% junk. But we like junk. So, either way, get that loaded up and head back to the shop. Okay, guys, so just gonna set those to the side for now. I wanna jump to getting all this stuff painted. I already have them wired wheel, so I just have to get everything mask off and hit it with uh, some gray Rust-Oleum just to help the bed liner cover a little easier. So do that first while it's drying. I will jump on these shifters jump on these wheels and tires, get them mounted up. And then if we have time, we'll uh, get that stuff bed line tonight, but we'll see how far we get.
All right, guys, so I got all those parts uh, painted up. Didn't take much care in uh, what it looks like. It's really just a uh, base to cover the rust and help the uh, bed liner cover a little better. But uh, it's not drying real fast, so we may not get to that tonight. But I'm gonna jump onto these uh, shifters, the uh, shift lever and the handbrake lever, and uh, show you guys what I'll do with those. So I picked up, I don't even know what size those are, but uh, these big casings from a swap meet with plans on using them. So just kind of got to figure out a way to uh, mount them up. What I think I'm going to do is I found uh, some nuts that fit in there really nice. So I'll probably just weld those up and they also slide over the rod real nice. So I'll just get everything lined up, weld it up, paint it and call it done. Okay, so here's what I came up with. Got your shifter, got your handbrake. Nothing fancy, but it's simple and it works. All right, so I'm gonna get all these tires broke down and uh, mounted up. And that'll probably be all we can do for the night, but at least we'll get to see them on there. Dang guys, check it out. I uh, think I like it. It's interesting. Definitely not something you're gonna see at every show. So it'll be something fun. I can uh, swap on and off when I want to. Something I've had in mind for a while and I Obviously, it's not going to work with that bed. I'm not going to cut that bed up. So I have something else in mind uh, as far as when I do run these dualies. Uh, some a little bed idea I have, but don't want to give it away quite yet, but that'll be down the road. But I uh, didn't plan on getting it off the jack stands tonight. Going to wait till tomorrow but I'm kind of uh, dying to see what it looks like, so I think I'll do that.
All right, guys, so there it is. Uh, I'm loving it. Not something I'll run all the time, but be something fun I can swap on and off. So uh, I'm gonna call it a night. Tomorrow, all these pieces uh, should be good and dry. Hit it with the bed liner, get them hung on the truck. And uh, hey, this thing will be as ready as it's gonna be for uh, dropped and destroyed. So hope to see a lot of guys there. Remember, everybody who registers the vehicle is entered to uh, win this toolbox. So it's a pretty good giveaway, good reason to come out. And uh, like I said, we'll uh, hit it again tomorrow and get as much done as we can. All right, guys, it's morning. Uh, my plan is I'm going to shoot this uh, in the bed liner before I head into work. And uh, by the time I get home, should be dry, good to go. And uh, we'll get hung on the truck, get this thing buttoned up, and then ready for the show. Okay, so I'll give you guys a real quick look at exactly what I'm doing before I get too far ahead. So, as you know, I hit all these parts uh, with a uh, rust oleum. And just real quick, I didn't care about drips or brush marks, anything like that. It's just to uh, give it a base, make it easier for the bed liner to cover. And what I'm using is the uh, same stuff I've used before, uh, cannonball. And this is the tinnable. So you just add uh, three ounces of paint or tint, whatever, and uh, five ounces of the activator. Shake it up and uh, shoot it. And I did this one piece so far. And you can play with the pressures. Uh, I'm shooting it at 50. The lower the pressure, you'll get a chunkier finish. Higher pressure, you'll get a smoother finish. But that's kind of what I'm doing with it. So uh, go ahead and hit all these parts. What do you think, Sid? I think he's impressed. So, there everything is. Came out pretty good. I'm happy with it. So, I will uh, let it dry. I'm going to head to work when I get home. Uh, hopefully it's good to go and we'll get everything hung on the truck. Hey guys, I'm home from work. Got all these parts unmasked. They dried all day. Everything looks good. I'm happy with them. So we'll start throwing this junker together.
check it out. Got the front clip installed. Everything actually went back together and fit really well, considering there's a bunch of homemade hacked up junk. So I'm happy with it. So going to jump under the hood, install the radiator, a uh, battery box, a couple miscellaneous little brackets, and uh, hey, it's going to be about as good as it gets. Just want to show you guys something before I uh, take it apart because I actually am going to fix it right this time. But uh, this is straight zip tie right here. A heater hose port blocked off with a chunk of rubber and a lug nut clamped into the end of it. I love it. I drove around for thousands of miles like that. Okay guys, there it is. That's as good as it's going to get before it dropped and destroyed. And uh, I, I am pumped on this thing. I pulled it in a year ago, wanting to make just the most annoying, obnoxious, ratty mini truck that I could. And uh, I think it's getting pretty close to that. It's body dropped almost to the doors dually got the handbrake most of the engine sticking out of the hood air tank mounted to the front end hood held shut with wing nuts so this thing is definitely my style here And also, don't forget, shows this weekend, everybody who registered the vehicle at Dropped and Destroyed has a chance at taking this toolbox home with them. So another good reason to come out, enjoy the show, and uh, see everybody there.